So you may have noticed that the lighting for my videos has been pretty crappy lately uh, because the place I moved into uh, doesn't really have any good lighting. Uh, what I've been using for the videos so far is my portable, um, you can see it up there, high pressure, uh, high pressure, uh, metal halide light. That's a 100 watt metal halide light. You know, the bulb up there in a regular clip light. And then that green box there is the where the ballast is. Um, so it's a very bright light, but it's a, a point source of light. So it creates a lot of shadows, which makes the video kind of unacceptable at times. So to try and rectify the situation, I went ahead and bought some other lights. Uh, I got two uh, four-foot fluorescent lights that take a T12 bulb. See the bulbs there? And I've got one four-foot LED ship light. So we're going to make a frame and mount these lights on it. And the reason I'm making a frame is because I live in an apartment and if I drill holes in the wall or the ceiling, they charge me extra for that. So I'm going to make a frame so that we can mount these lights without having to pay extra bills later um, when we have to remove them. Um, See, so I've got some PVC pipes here that we're going to use to make the frame and some other supplies in the bags there. I decided to use PVC pipes for the frame so that way uh, the frame is, you know, it's temporary. I can take it down and move it if I have to. Uh, so let's get started. So I went and got these uh, pre-cut sections. Each of these is two feet, I believe. Um, a half inch pipe, I think. So I went ahead and got these pre-cut ones because the only other, the uncut ones, I think, were like 10 feet or something, and I'm not sure that would fit in my car. So I went ahead and got a bunch of these pre-cut ones. Um, I think I'm going to make the frame six feet tall. I'm a pretty short person, so I think that'll be satisfactory for me. So we'll need three of these per leg, and I'm going to have one leg in each corner. And then I'm going to have, um, uh, I think I'm going to, I think I said, I decided I'm going to have four sections, so that would be uh, eight feet from corner to corner, square, and I'll put one um, pipe right across the middle so that I can have uh, one light mounted on the back cross, one light mounted on the middle cross, and then one light mounted on the front cross. That would be my three lights spread out over the work area, so hopefully there'll be less shadows cast on the table I'm working on. Um, we got enough pipe, hopefully. Just quickly add it up in the floor how many I would need. And grab some. Hopefully I got enough. I think I did. Got a whole bunch of couplings too. So I think what I'm gonna do is start by making at least two of the legs and then um actually I guess what I should probably start with is making the top frame. So I can mount the legs to that before putting it up. Well, I guess I could mount them when it's up. It's not going to be that high. But, um, yeah, I'll probably start, I made two legs so far, and I'll probably start making some of the top frame. And then I can put the two legs on the top frame and then just kind of lean it over so that I can work on it. And then when it's all done, I'll put the other two legs on and stand it up. So here are my two legs. And I'll get working on making the top frame and bring you back when we have that. So I tried putting the frame up, and this is what I ended up with. You can see it's very saggy. Uh, I honestly expected the PVC pipe to be stronger than that. I didn't think it would sag that much. So I'm definitely going to have to um, make the frame a lot smaller if that's how weak the pipe's going to be. Um, I did make it a little bit shorter on the length. You can see it's four pipes wide, but it's only three pipes long because somehow I when I got a, I was short three pipes, so I had to take three pipes out of, or I take one pipe out of the length, which gave me three extra pipes because there's three length pieces, and I used that to make the final leg. But I, I'm really surprised that the, the pipe is that weak and it sags that much. 
So it's a little bit better now, but it's still not great. Um, it's a little bit wobbly, but I think it will be okay for our purpose. I'm just gonna hang the lights off it and you know, they're not that heavy. So I think it'll be okay just for a lighting setup, but um, I'm really surprised by how weak the PVC pipe is. Definitely thought it would be able to support, you know, its own weight better than that. But anyway, now I know. Future projects, black pipe only. So you can see the lights I got here. Uh, this one's the LED one. And then these two are the fluorescent ones. We gotta assemble those. Doesn't look too bad. Like these will flip up. That was easy. It's even easier than they used to be. Something I had before, you had to like slide these pieces in the end and get them to latch in and then slide these things in and these are actually not that bad. So, give us our little bag here. I don't think hard wear. You have to be careful when working on these though because it is uh, sheet metal and it will cut you. Pretty easy. The kind of goodies they gave us. So like a grounding screw, a couple of sheet metal screws, and then this bracket here is for the cover. That snaps in that hole and then you twist it to lock the cover on. As far as wiring these, uh, somewhere here I have just got some regular Two conductor wire. I'm going to use to wire the lights together. Uh, somewhere here I have the uh, whatever you call them to clamp the wires and where they're going. So I got those. Uh, let me see if I can find the rest of my stuff. I got some boxes here. I'm going to mount um, a switch to turn the lights on and off. I'm mount an outlet so I have some place to plug stuff in. Probably want to like right here on that pole or something. These guys I was talking about. Got light covers for both of those. And lots and lots of chicken bands. We can tie our wires to the poles. Um, I think I'm probably going to use the big ones of these to mount the lights as well because they're really not that heavy. I think several of these will hold them to the pipe pretty easily. Uh, than trying to, you know, drill into the pipe or something. I think that'll work out okay. So, I'm going to work on getting the knockouts punched out of the lights and getting some wires attached to them, and we'll see about mounting them. You can see I've added a uh, little support there, and I've also doubled up the two back posts. And I just chicken banded them together. It offers a little bit of stability, but I think I'm still going to need to add some more. Um, the reason why I only added one pipe at the top is because that's all I, the extra pipe I have. I'm going to have to go get some more to show this up. I think it would be worthwhile to just get black pipe and rebuild out a black pipe. But anyway, there's my lamp up there. Just barely fits in the four foot now square. So I think that'll be okay. It's pretty solid up there. It's definitely not going to fall off, uh, assuming the flame doesn't fall over. Uh, so I'm going to put the LED one in the middle there, and the another first one on the side there. So, yeah, definitely, definitely disappointed in the strength of this PVC. Now, as far as wiring these lamps, it's pretty simple. Just feed the wire through the clamp at the end. Split it in there. And then strip it. And we'll pull the wires from the ballast down here. Uh, hot and neutral. Uh, usually the ribbed one. See how this one's got ribs on it? That's usually the neutral, so that's what I'm going to go with. That 
wire nuts here somewhere. complicated about this part. Actually, there's really nothing complicated about this whole project. To be honest with you. That's why I didn't. We got a small chicken bin in here. you can have when you're trying to put the cover on is if the wires hang down and get pinched in the side of the cover and just tighten down the screws here in the clamp You're really pretty careful when working with these lamps because they do like to cut you. See my thumb there, got it. I'm not sure I mentioned this either, but the two action machine screws that came in the package, I put one here to hold that in and one here on the side just to. Because remember these things, you had to flip them up so that holds them in place. So now, it's nice in there, nice and solid, and that lamp is ready to be mounted then. As you can see, the frame is quite a bit different now. That's because I entirely rebuilt it. Um, I was really tired of how flimsy the PVC felt, so I went down and I bought a whole bunch of black pipe and rebuilt the entire frame out of black pipe. And then I just have the one section right there in the middle is just PVC. Um, and that's just for, you know, if I want to hang some stuff in the middle there. So I, I made it bigger. Uh, it's now six feet by six feet instead of four feet by four feet. And I had to use some of the PVC then to build that piece in the middle, which is just three cross sections um, with a PVC hoarded them together at the ends and then tied to the black pipe and so then I can mount my one light in the middle and I also put two other rails there in case I want to add more lights or mount something else, else there later. Uh, so all my lights now are mounted to the frame and I just have to do the wiring. And see my switch is still here in the uh, back right corner and I move the outlet to the, uh, well, depending on what you want to call the front. I'm calling what's closest to me, the back. Um, where the switch is, and then on the opposite side, which I guess would be the front, is where I've mounted the box for the outlet. Um, and I did that just so that it's not, so the box isn't sticking out, and I can, or I can walk into it. And so I just keep it out of the way. So I've just got to do some wiring, and hopefully then, should be ready to test it. Okay, so you can see I've got all my lights installed, got my switch and my outlet installed, everything all wired up there. So I think it's time to test this out. I'm just going to go over here and plug it in. Alright, so it's plugged in. Let's see if it turns on. And there we go. So you can only see how bright it is right now because the sun's shining in, but I think that should sufficiently illuminate my table when it's dark out. I can always add more lights by one, two on the extra cross members there. And if I feel like it, I can always clip up my super bright light. No matter how I want, I can always clip it uh, on there somewhere if I feel like I need that. But I think for now, that'll be sufficient. So I hope you enjoyed this video. 
and thank you for watching. Yes, I think this setup will be completely satisfactory. It's definitely plenty of light on the work area.